What is up guys, this is Cubewack here, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. Today we are here in episode 41. Last time we did go ahead and start taking on the Pokemon Challenge, or the Pokemon Championship, which was rudely interrupted by this thing right here. I believe they called it Acton, a legendary Pokemon that's also looking nuclear. I don't know what the heck's going on with this thing. But um, last episode we did take on that championship and very unfortunately lost most, uh, lost half of our team. And I'm still not happy about that. It's still kind of annoying just knowing that we're going to have to grind more mons up if there's more to this game. But I'm kind of hoping that there isn't. I'm kind of hoping we're done. And that I could literally just sweep the rest of the game with silence except this mon coming up. Because it definitely looks like, definitely looks like a, a nuclear type which was this nuclear. Also kind of looks like a steel type which was this nuclear. So, um... Just not a, not a choice for silence. So I think we're going to have to lead a breathless, unfortunately. I don't know if we're going to be able to handle this, but... Um, I guess I gotta give him my best shot, huh? But let's take a quick team recap like we always do. We got Breathless to Shiny Brainor with Hydro Pump, Coral Break, Psychic, and Surf. Holding the Amulet Coin to very politely ask you for your lunch money. Then we have Silence here to silence all of our foes with Hyper Voice Conversion to Swift and Miracle. Holding that Expert Belt to power up those Hyper Voice and Swift. And then we have Shiver making you shake in your boots with Moonblast, Fake Out, Blizzard, and Ice Beam holding the Nevermelt Ice to power up those ice type attacks. But that is our entire team for the moment. Um, I don't really know what else to do, so we're just going to go straight ahead and battle this thing. The music sounds crazy. The music sounds crazy. This Pokemon looks tight. I like it. I like it. It's just I don't believe that I'm going to be able to... Uh, Honestly, they gave us Pokeballs to catch it, but I'm kind of scared. It's level 80. It's level 80. Um, I'm going to try hitting it with Psychic, see if that does good. All right, we might be able to catch it. We might be able to catch it. If it, if it lives on one, if it doesn't, I don't care. Okay, it died. It died. I don't want to... I don't care, though. I'm not... I'm not gonna risk everything to cash this level 80 as much as it would help us carry us um it's just not it's just not worth it <laughs> bravo cubo i saw the entire thing you really are amazing theo and i evacuated the arena while you were battling with the legendary pokemon still this is concerning what could have happened that made acton leave the heart of the mountain what the heck is this dude doing here and i can't remember the viking voice that we gave him i don't know what voice we gave him at all I believe I can offer an explanation. You see, my gym is atop Mount Lathanite, uh, east of Tandor, inside of which dwells another legendary Pokemon, Acton's brother, Lanthan. Although both Pokemon have been asleep for centuries, Lanthan sometimes speaks to his chief acolytes through its dreams. Perhaps I could communicate with Acton in the same manner. Will you allow me to try? Yeah, I, for I completely forget what this dude's voice was. I feel like he talked like this. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to that. It's our best chance to discover what went wrong, but it's a nuclear Pokemon. It could be dangerous. Danger! I have no fear of danger! I am favoring the dragon! Right, right. Go ahead, then. Brother of Darkness, heed my call! Whoa! Whoa! The radiation faded from his body. Amazing! Legendary Pokemon are truly incredible! Almighty brother of darkness, why do you wake? What has disturbed your slumber? I see. This is troubling news. Indeed, Acton says it was awakened by another legendary Pokemon, which suddenly appeared in its lair. Began siphoning energy from the rare metals at the heart of Mount Actonite. Acton attempted to defeat, uh, to defend its territory, but the other Pokemon was too powerful. The radioactive energy it was emitting made Acton lose control. It says the other Pokemon commanded it to attack the arena. His voice completely left. Once again, seems like you've earned Acton's respect and wants to join you. Yes! Oh, man, I'm so happy we didn't... Oh, yes. Yo, I'm gonna get rid of Buggin. I'm gonna get rid of Buggin for the... No, Buggin had Fly. Oh, well. Acton moved from the front of the... Moved to the front of the party. Rare, met oh, rare metals, that's right. The core of Actonite contains a massive amount of... Crude uranium. Of course, I should have known. Uran and Curry never left Tandor. They've been right here all this time. Oh, no. Everybody else, I don't know why you guys came back. But, all right, we're not done with Curry yet. 
You weak, pathetic fools! I needed the voice back, that's why I put my hand over my mouth. You thought you had defeated us, but you mistakenly gave us more time! That was all we needed in order to get all that we desired. Ultimate power! And now, is the hour of reckoning! Curry, stop this at once! Whatever you're planning to do, please, if there's anything human left inside of you, don't do this! Whatever it is you're planning, you can kill hundreds, if not thousands, of innocent people! Why? What is the meaning of this? Why? A weakling such as yourself cannot begin to understand. This hunger, this eternal agony we have suffered, there is but one way to end it. Ultimate power, utter annihilation, this is what we crave. I wonder why? The total obliteration of all that stand in our way. But what, like, I'm so confused. I'm so confused because, like, if your sole purpose is to kill everybody and destroy everybody, then why do you mean all that stand in your way? Like, if you're gonna totally kill everybody as it is... Like, this is so weird. Like, how is your goal to obliterate everybody that stands in your way when your way is to obliterate everybody that stands in your way? Like, what is the way that we are standing in? Alright, I was singing into that too deep, but... It is a little bit. It is a little bit. Yes, yes. Thank you, Kellen. You're a psychopath, and that thing you command isn't even a Pokemon. It's an abomination. Brave words from a fool. They are soon to be your last. And you, you infuriating child. You pushed us back to the brink of despair. But our agonizing defeat led us to discover something new. As we fled, we found a book hidden among the ruins of what you call civilization. Within its pages, there was a very key we needed. Our pathway to ascension. It told us the uranium cores in this mountain and their guardian. Well, that guardian was no match for us. Now, Urain is absorbing the last of the ore's energy. Soon, the transformation will be complete. Urain has achieved its true form. An angel of destruction. Alright, here we go. Warning, radiation spike imminent. Evacuate the area immediately. Cuba, your hazard suit. It's the only thing that can withstand the radiation produced by Uranus. Your only hope. Are you saying Cuba has to fight Kiri again? All on their own? You're crazy. You're saying you'll do it, Cheech Cuba. You make up to make the rest of us look bad. If Cuba's gonna be a hero, then I want to help too. No, Theo. Theo is. So I don't. I don't like that. All right, like Theo needs more character development, my dude. Like Theo has been yelling this entire game. I want to help too. And then he ac accepted earlier, like, hey, like, you know what, it's okay. I'm still one of the best trainers in Tandor. And now he's back to being stubborn. I know I'm gonna die, but I still want to help pointlessly. No, Theo. Learn, grow as a person, and know that you cannot help sometimes. Alright, sorry. Sorry, I'm just, I'm being a, criti a critique today. If we are exposed to the radiation, we'll die within minutes. So will the rest of the people in this arena, unless we get them out of here. Theo, Vagrant, Professor, I need you to help get as many people as you can to safety. You got it, Chief. I'm going to do my part to protect people. Thank you, Theo. That is what I want. I'll radio my Rangers for backup. We'll dispatch a hazard team as quickly as possible. But I'm afraid that when they arrive, it might be too late. Cuba, you're the only trainer in this region who has defeated Curry before. Although this time, it will be different. Your aunt has awakened an un unimaginable power. Still, we don't have a choice. You are the only one who stands a chance. So please, I need you. Tandor needs you. I have to go. If I stay any longer, the radi radiation will kill me. Cubo, I believe in you. I love you. Goodbye. And everybody did so. Ha <laughs> ha Your friends and family have abandoned you. No, they didn't. Why is this game making me so mad right now? Dang it. Your friends and family have abandoned you. Don't you see? You're nothing but a tool to them. A bond they are more than happy to sacrifice. No, that's not it at all, Kiri. I, I, I volunteered, my dude. You're gonna die now. Alright. How disgusting. Humans are nothing but weak, selfish creatures. Curry, they're doing a really good job at making me hate Curry right now. As cool as he looks, they're doing a really good job at making me hate him. And the Pokemon that fight for them are no better. Nothing will give us greater joy and satisfaction than erase them all from existence with a masso massive thermonuclear detonation. And we'll start with you. You have caused such suffering. We'll return to the agony of you ten- Oh, wait, what? Yo, the whole screen is bright green. Yes! At last we are complete! True power is in our grasp, and with it we have realized our perfect form. Behold, Gamma Uranus! Oh my lord! Later. Nope. Alright, here we go! This is it! This is the end! Now I am become death! 
Now I am become death. Apocalypse Curry would like to battle. All right, I think all he's going to have is Uranium. Uranium, we're going to be battling with Acton. Chernobyl. His ability is Chernobyl. Oh my gosh, this is intense. The music. The music. Yo. Yo. Quirky nature. Okay, you're neutral nature. Yeah, you're, yes, I have to go all out and attack. Yeah, we're definitely going Metal Cruncher. We're definitely going Metal Cruncher. Use your crunches up, or, yeah, crunches up the target with Metal Fangs. There's a high chance of lowering the target's defense. Oh, man, yeah, I think that's our best bet. Luckily, si or nuclear type attacks are only neutral on us because we are steel. I think they did this for a reason. Yeah, we're going Metal Cruncher for sure. What is it using? What was that? What was that? I don't even know what to say. I, I don't where we've lost. There's nothing I could do. There's actually nothing I could do. We just lost the entire lock. We made it this far just to lose the entire lock right here. Just to lose the, the actual entirety of this Nuzlocke right here. Like, I don't know what else to do. I have no clue what else I could do. I'm gonna hit Moonblast because, okay, it doesn't matter because we're gonna die anyways, but... I have no clue. I have no clue what I was supposed to do here. They literally gave me a Mon. Gave me a level 80 legendary Pokemon. To, to battle this thing with. Like, like, it's one of the only things that is suited to battle this thing. And they one-shot it. Like, what in the world was I supposed to do? And there's nothing I could do about this. Like, I can't go back and grind. Like, I can't... I can't fix this. My team is dying. I'm about to white out. And there is no grinding opportunity before battling Acton. There's none. Like, there's nothing I could have done at all. Except drain my team up to 80 before the Elite Four. But that would have been stupid. That would have been stupid. Like, that would have made it too easy. I don't know, dude. I really don't know, dude. I really don't know, dude. What the heck to do. Now it goes for overheat to kill silence. No, silence lives. Oh, I should have definitely hit mirror coat. I should have definitely hit mirror coat. I might live another overheat, to be honest. I might live another overheat, to be honest. Come on, silence. Come on, silence. Blow this thing back. Blow this thing back. Oh, man. I'm done. I hit, I hit. A mirror coat when it's not gonna do anything. I don't think it can kill silence though. Like I think we might we might barely get away with this, but it's just it's dumb. It's real dumb. Like I, I yeah, there's literally just nothing I could do. Except this. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, but we literally... We have one Mon. We have a single Pokemon left. And it's Silence. I mean, luckily, it's the best Mon on the entire squad, but... I'm pretty... I'm pretty mad that literally... The whole team's dead. Like, what? Like, then when I come back, do I have to battle League again? Do I still have to battle Theo? Like... What happens now? Like, I really, I, I don't want to grind team up for one level, for one battle.
I don't. This is, yeah. This is pretty, this is but a very much like, it's, it's slowed the excitement of Uranium a lot. Like, as cool as this battle is, the fact that, that the, the Pokemon they gave me to fight it died as soon as it got sent into battle. A legendary Pokemon literally got one shot. That's stupid, dude. That's stupid. Like, I stood no chance. I stood no chance. I could have saved everybody by sending in Silence. But I knew Silence. I was scared Silence would die. I don't know how Silence made it out of that, to be honest. That was, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this part of the game, to be honest. Like, it's not bad, but it's definitely... Um, I'm, I haven't been enjoying it, but that's also probably because I'm in Nuzlocke mode, but... I don't know, dude. It, it's just, it's pretty, it's, it was pretty stupid to immediately, like, there was nothing I could have done about that. No, impossible. You, how could you be stronger than us? You, I'll kill you all by myself. I'll, ah. Wait, what is that? What just happened? Yeah. Y'all see what I'm seeing? The radiation stopped all of a sudden. Kyo, you did it, didn't you? You stopped your rain. You saved Tandor again. Against all odds. You. You stopped up. Uh, you stood up to an unfathomable foe and won. Kyo, I'm speechless. What you did was incredible. Is that Curie? It seems like their interface was destroyed. That was all. That was the helmet that allowed them to control your rain. Finally. Let us see who the monster behind the mask is. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Cubo, you did it! We're saved! You managed to defeat your reign's ultimate form! We we're talking to people- we we're taking people to shelter in Victory Road when we heard the news. Yeah, you- you saved me! You saved all of us again! I'm not crying, I swear! Cubo, you're really special, you know? I'm so glad, I'm so glad to have known you! No! This is- this is gonna be crazy. No, I- I won't believe this! There's- there's no way this could be true! I mean, I feel like I knew this was coming, but I, like, completely forgot. And then, like, I don't know, I was skeptical if I remembered correctly or what, but... Lucille! How? If you all don't know who Lucille is, remember the very first episode of this series, 41 episodes ago, we were introduced to a woman named Lucille who tragically supposedly perished in a nuclear meltdown that Cameron managed to escape but Lucille unfortunately did not Lucille was our mother how how could it be you Lucille Lucille is alive Lucille is curry how can this be Incredible, she really is alive. She doesn't even look any different from how she did on the day she disappeared in the power plant meltdown a decade ago. I've never seen or heard of anything like this. Hmm. Cameron, did you know about about Lucille? Did you know my wife was alive? I barely. I mean, I had considered the possibilities, but I didn't think it was likely she survived the blast or that somehow she managed to remain alive or undetected for years in the ruins of the power plant. But well, she was the head scientist on power plant Epsilon, the power plant which was used as a front as a front for illegal experimentation conducted by Larkspur Laboratories. I thought it might be possible that she was involved in the project which created Uranus. That's so crazy. They made your mom a villain. And you didn't mention this to me. Why? Because I thought she was dead. Everyone did, except for you. Silence. Silence. I don't want to hear another word. Kellen, you're making me help. You're making me not like you right now. You're making me actually not like you right now for literally getting mad at somebody for having a suspicion that a most likely dead person was alive when you were the only one holding on to hope. Kilo, that's your mom, isn't it? Your mom was Curry? So then why'd she do it? Why would she go all crazy and try to murder everybody? Sorry, no offense. It's just I'm having a hard time understanding why anyone would threaten the entire region. She hurt me, and she hurt my dad and Kellen, too. How come she didn't recognize you? Did she lose her memory? It's possible the interface was responsible. 
Curry's helmet worked at, works as a mental relay. It extends your thoughts and commands at a distance in order to let its wearer control your aim. It's likely that prolonged use of the interface caused your mind to become frayed, causing her memory to deteriorate and her personality to change completely. In a short, she lost her mind, but that would require a ridiculous length of time to subs uh, of, sustained, of sustained use. Perhaps 10 years or so. Hmm, so you think she somehow wore that helmet for 10 years, but how could she survive for so long? I think I might have an idea about that. Cuba, do you remember that tank that Curry put me in at Vinoville's power plant? Before they did, they said something like, Now you will suffer like we have suffered. So I think that they, I mean she, I think she survived in a stasis tank for all those years. That's what she meant. Yeesh, that must have been agony. I mean, I was only inside for one of, for, uh, of one for a short amount of time, but it was still one of the worst experiences of my life. It's like you're not unconscious exactly, but you don't have any way to tell how much time has passed. Every moment in there feels like it lasts forever. That kind of makes sense. Actually, it explains how she survived for 10 years in the ruins of that power plant. It explains why she went crazy and became the music is so good. Kitty. Poor Kellen, his only hope was to see his wife once more. Part of him must be overjoyed that she's somehow alive. But finding out like this, it's going to be hard time for, hard for him to cope with the revelation. Plus, she's going to have to answer for her crimes as Curry. That is, if she wakes up, she needs medical attention. I'm going to make sure she gets there safely. Kellen, Kellen, Star, Star after, let's go. Okay, I'm, I know I've been a critic. It's your aim! Quickly, we gotta beat it again, fast, before it tries to destroy us again! No, it's not under control, my dude. Wait, Theo, something's different about it. It's the only the Alpha form. That's its least powerful state. True, I don't sense hostile intent somehow. Without Curie, it seems different. <laughs> Hello? Do you guys hear that? Where'd that voice come from? C can hear me. Humans, listen. I don't believe- I don't believe this! It's using some form of telepathy to communicate! Fascinating! No, no more hurt. No more hunger. I like this. I like this, but I'm gonna be a critic. Don't worry, I got my- I got my criticisms about all these revelations. No more hunger. I'm free now. Did Acton do something to your reign? Yes, friend. Gave a gift. Eternal energy. That's so... Yo, I kind of wish they would show what happened in the waterfall. It's like Uranus was dying and Acton's like, nah, I'm not letting you die. Like, it wasn't you. Like, this is beautiful. This moment right now, like this specific moment, these Pokemon literally helping each other. Like, Acton, a legendary Pokemon saying like, yeah, you just tried to kill me, but... It's wise, it's open-minded, it's grown up. I love it. I love this. This is what, yes, yes, a million times, yes. No more hunger, no more fear. From what I remember of the legends, Acton is said to be the creator of all radioactive metals. Maybe it shared some of the power of Uranus. The critical flaw in Uranus' design was a constant need for feel. If it ran out of nuclear power, it would go dormant and eventually die. But if the Legendary gave it a self-sustaining energy source, then it won't need to attack power plants for uranium rods anymore. Sorry, no more hurt. Afraid for so long. Afraid. Only friend, help me survive. To become one, needed each other, and the hunger never stopped. Had to destroy. Had to make it go away. Needed energy. Only trying to survive. So I think the reason... Okay, never mind. I'm, I no longer need to critique. I think the reason that Lucille went back down there was to save Urain. Or, or to try to calm Urain. One or the other. One or the other. Because the power plant melted down. It might have been because Urain was already attacking it itself. Trying to get the feel. And Lucille was, was like, Uranus was her, her baby, you know? Like, she helped create Uranus. She wanted to save Uranus. So she went back to try to help it, and it ended up dooming them both. But at the end of the journey, Acton was the one. You know what? This, this game, literally. We lost a lot of Pokemon today. Lost a lot of Pokemon yesterday. But this... 
I think this is, um, this made it all worth it. Because honestly, the story that it provided and, like, the revelations are still occurring in my head right now. And I'm starting to like them and understand them more. It's not that we were defeating Curry, it's that we were saving Curry from themselves. Same with Uraine. Literally, it was a self-destructive path that brought harm to others. It's literally so real. It is literally so real, and that's why I'm talking about this so much. Like, hurt people hurt people. People who have gone through pain bring pain to others because they don't know other ways to cope. They they haven't learned healthier ways of happiness, of joy, of, of coping without hurting others and making others miserable. And it's kind of like a concept of internet trolls, you know? Like, they come and they'll, they'll talk crap, they'll hack your accounts, they'll do everything to make you miserable because they've been miserable. And that is exactly, like, what Curry has been saying... But now you know it's true. Like, now you know it is real. And it's like, we saved them. We helped save them, you know? Like, as bad as what they did was, like, it shows it's never too late for somebody to turn around. For somebody's path to go back down the right way. I love this. I love this. This is showing, like, no matter what, you could change. You could get better. You could look at all the bad things in your life. Everything you don't like about yourself. Everything you don't like, period. And you could change it and you will be okay at the end. I- okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm the only one thinking of this game this way, but... I love it. I- I- I love the message that I am personally interpreting right now. I- Beautiful game. But where did your rain- uh, but where did your rain come from? Why was it created? I've been trying to figure that out for so long. Remember... They made me in a place dark underground. Every day they came, ran tests. I tried to reach out, but I couldn't move. No one could hear me. I was alone, all alone until... I see. Cerebral U029 relay and inhibitor engine testing, testing. Hello, is someone there? Hello, this is the head... Hello, this is the head scientist on the U092 project. I am transmitting brainwaves right now through the experimental Curry interface. If you could hear me, please respond. What is this? Where am I? What am I? You're an artificial life form that was created in our laboratory. You're a type of something called a Pokemon, but you are one of a kind. There are no others like you. Alone. Data collections is sufficient for now. We will speak again soon. That was the first time, but later... They were there again. They would talk to me. We became friends. My name. A name is a special word that describes what you are. You are called zero, you, zero, or U092. That's your experiment number. Most of the time, a number is enough, but for really special experiments, they get a unique name. You are special, exceptional, really. So you get another name too, Uraine. My name is Uraine. What is your name? Well, well, aren't you just a curious one? Let's just say, because I'm using the Curry interface to talk with you, you can call me Curry. Every day, my friend was there, and at night, when all others left, they stayed behind. They told me about the world beyond the lab, a world I would someday see, and my purpose to change it for the better. I could create infinite energy, they said, improve the lives of people in Pokemon. This was my purpose. Until one day... Uraine, please respond. Hello, friend is not happy. I can feel what you feel. What are you upset? Uraine, they just told me they've decided to abort the 0U92... The U092 project. All my years of research, discoveries, and breakthroughs. And you, they plan to destroy you. Destroy me? Why? You were never supposed to have a mind in the first place. You're intended to be an empty shell, a living machine. But as soon as I interfaced with you, I realized you were so much more than that. That's why I needed to cover it up. I hid my findings from other researchers. If they found out, they would have destroyed you sooner. Uraine, I didn't tell you this, but experiments like you are highly illegal. Creating a new kind of Pokemon is something that other humans won't allow. Even one that will help make the world a better place. Dr. Larkspur is a... Gosh darn coward. He'd rather destroy all evidence you ever existed. He's a liar, a fraud, and a murderer. I can't believe I ever trusted him. Yo, that's crazy. That is so crazy. What happened? What will they do? Uraine, listen to me. I will not allow them to do this. As long as I'm still alive, I will protect you. You deserve to live, and I'm willing to sacrifice everything I have to make sure that's possible. Do you understand? My friend, you'll save me? You'll stop the bad humans from destroying me? I promise you, I'll do whatever it takes. Uraine, we need to act quickly. 
What is going on? They activated the rem remote termination sequence. There's a nuclear reactor above us and it's about to blow. Both of us will be destroyed when it does, so we need to move fast if we want a uh, chance to survive. What do we do? I don't want to die. There's only one way we can both survive the blast. I've sealed this room completely so that nothing can come in or out. Your status tank. That's the only way. I'll be shielded from radiation. But once I go in, there won't be any way I could get out. We'll have to stay in stasis together for as long as necessary. But I'll have this interface. We'll be connected even while in stasis. That This is our only chance. We're out of options. I want to live. Please don't leave me. I'm scared. Shh, it's going to be okay. I made you a promise. I intend to keep it. I'll never abandon you. I will always stay by your side. Always. Scared and hungry, my friend and I together. We were so hungry for so long. And then we got free. We knew that to stop the hunger, we needed nuclear fuel. And with our power, it was only easy to just take what we needed. But it was never enough. The hunger kept growing. We got stronger and stronger until I I never want to hurt anyone. I didn't know what we were doing that it was wrong. The hunger is gone now. I've been so afraid. Oh, so many more people showed up. The hunger is gone now. I've been so afraid for so long. I thought all humans were out to destroy me, but now I know that isn't true. You protected your friends just like my friend protected me, so that's why I want to join you. I want to travel by your side and see the world without fear. I think that is what my friend would want. Would you like to give a nickname to Uranus? That's why they give you acne. Yo. Yo, what do we even name you? I don't know if, I don't know if I want to give it a name. It's story, dude. I love it. I love it. I actually love it. I actually love it. Oh man. I don't know what to name it. I don't know what to name it, dude. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna name this thing. I'm gonna name this thing after my best friend in real life. I'm gonna name this thing after my best friend in real life. We're gonna name it Chris. We're gonna name it Chris. We are going to name it Chris. Oh wait, no, it didn't. It went to our PC. All right, all right. You sense Acton is trying to tell you something. Human, you have proven yourself worthy. I await you in my lair, should you wish to battle again. So that's pretty much saying we can go and catch Acton if we want. Um, I wish I would have tried catching the nuclear one, to be honest, that would have been tight. My goodness, this has certainly been an unexpected turn of events. I have never in my life witnessed a championship like this one. Are we even going to hold a final round of battle? No, I think Cuba more than deserves to be champion. After all, it takes, it's thanks to them that we're not still here right now. As, uh, uh, or wait, yeah, that we are still here right now. As long as you're in agreement, Theo. I am. I hereby forfeit the championship. Cubo, I think somehow all along, a part of me knew you were destined to win. And you know what? I'm thrilled about that. I'm glad to be a, that I got to be a part of your story. Very well. Oh, no, it's him. Cubo, congratulations on becoming the new champion of Tandor. Okay. I'm so happy. We didn't have to do all of that again to beat the championship. Because we only have a Nucleon. If you'll follow me, please. Did we do it? Did we beat the game? This is the Hall of Fame. It is somewhere only those who have earned the title of champion can go. Cubo, you've, you've had a very long adventure to arrive here, but now that journey is finally at an end. Is this it? Now, let's record your name and the names of your Pokemon for all prosperity. We did it! So, well, guys, um, I guess we're done. 
I guess we're done. I think there's post game. But I don't I don't know if I want to do the post game because the Nuzlocke was challenging enough. The Nuzlocke was really challenging enough. We ended with one Mon, and the big thing is, I don't really want to grind any more Pokemon. So maybe we'll have a, a post-game stream at some point, but we've done it. We beat the league. We're the champion. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let me, let me see what happens next. All right, yo. All right. I wasn't expecting for this to be the finale, but ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Pokemon Uranium. Wow. Wow. All right. I don't even know what to say about this game, man. I don't even know what to say about this game. All right. All right. All right. Let's recap. Let's let's look back. Let's look over this journey. That we have just gone on together and let's give some huge thank yous and whatnot because I wasn't expecting this to be the end, but it is the end. So, um, it's all fan art. If it is, that's tight. But this game was definitely, I had a ton of fun. It had its ups and downs. There were some moments when I was really just completely done with the game. We lost 23 Pokemon. There was a lot of ups and downs. There was a lot of ups and downs on uh, on this journey, but mostly ups. We had a good time. The end of the game, I was a little bit like, come on, what the heck? My whole team's dead. I don't want to grind up, but I don't have to. So it is okay. We are chilling. We are having fun. That was a good game. For a fan-made game, there's definitely things about it that were like, all right, all right. You know, like, like this could be better. This could be better. But real Pokemon games could be better, you know? So, for a fan-made game that was absolutely free to play, it was an amazing, an amazing game. Like, beautiful. Absolutely blown back. Somebody made a plush. But I am absolutely blown back at um how awesome this game was. The story was great. Um, the, the whole concept that the, the end, the end was beautiful. I really liked the end. But, all right. Um... They had a lot of fun making the game. I love this. I love this. Saving progress. All right, what happens? We're just back. I want to check it out. Before I completely end a series, what happens? Good morning, Cubo. Your parents are in the other room. Come on, let's see them. I have to see this. I have to see this. Lucille, poor dear. Your father brought her home not too long ago. She hasn't woken up yet. It may be some time before she recovers still. After ten long years, it's good to have the entire family together under one roof. Thanks to you, Cubo. You made our family whole again. Feel as though a huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I'm just happy we're all together again. Oh, that's the oven timer. I banked us some cookies. Let me go get them. She's gonna wake up. Lucille. There's no way to know how much damage the curry interface did to her mind or how long it'll take to undo it. But I'm going to do whatever it takes. I've stepped down as chief of the Tandor Rangers. Looking after her is my number one priority now. Eventually, I'll see your eyes open again, Lucille. I made everyone cookies. Here you are. Tando lava cookie. All right. Don't eat it too quickly now. It's fresh out the oven. Oh, Cubo, a letter arrived in the mail for you. Seems that since you become champion of Tandor, you've been receiving a lot of fan mail. It's one on the table in the other room. Why don't you open it? I'm gonna go figure... Yes, I am gonna go open that, actually. Honored Cuba, there is stirring in the wind. The gods murmur in the deep. Storm broods of the horizon. Our village will soon be in danger. Without your help, Tsukunami will fall. What? What did the letter say? Looks so formal, I didn't want to touch it. Well... That's certainly vague. That wouldn't call for aid unless it was something serious, though. I would, I would, I wonder could it have to do with pirates? There's a piracy problem in East Tandor. I know the Rangers over there are having a hard time keeping them under control. Maybe they could use some help too. The East Tandor Rangers HQ is located at Angular Town. It's a scenic uh, resort area, but it's also known to a haven for pirates and other riffraff. The furthest west you sail, uh, the furthest, further west you sail in Tandor Sea, the more treacherous the law lawless it becomes. But if there's anybody that can deal with those kinds of conditions, it's you, Cubo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to Lucille. But if you ever need to find me, you'll know where I am. 
Yo, post game? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do post game. I think we've beaten the game. I don't really. Hey, wait up! Oh man. Oh man, I gotta end this episode. I gotta end this series. Um, hi, it's good to see you, Cubo. Guess we came full circle, huh? We're back in Moki Town, where it all started. Hey, I wanted to say congrats again on becoming champion. You must be sick of hearing that by now. Well, you deserve it. What you did on that stage, Face in the Versus Gamma Urain? There's nobody in the region more special than you. I mean it. Oh, yeah, Dad wanted to tell you that to come to our house when you've got a minute. Think he wanted something to give you. See you there. Yo, I don't know what the heck. I have no clue how long the Uranium postgame is. I have no clue how long the Uranium postgame is, but um, we're going to go ahead and call this the unofficial finale because look at our team. I'm not grinding up another team to level to these levels. I'm not. I'm not. Silence made it through. We beat the Elite Four. We became the champion. We saw the credits. We beat the Nuzlocke with the barely by a hair. By a hair. We made it through. We completed this Nuzlocke. And I'm very happy about that. So the Nuzlocke is officially done, ladies and gentlemen. Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke has been going on for quite a while, but we have now put the bookmark in it as much as I would like to keep going and see in the post game. I just know it's gonna it's going to drag on. It's going to drag on. I like the way this ended. I don't really want to keep pushing on and doing a bunch of random post-game side quests unless there is something big at the end of all of that. And okay, unless like there is a lot of story left to go through and see. I think we're gonna end it right here. Feel free to let me know in the comments though. We might stream this a little bit to finish up all the loose ends and whatnot. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching this video and this series. It does mean the absolute world to me. Thank you for joining me on our joint journey through the Tandor region. I don't even know where we're going next, to be honest. I have no clue what game I take on next. Next, but we made it this far if you guys enjoyed this video and this entire series I would appreciate it if you get the like button down below to show your support It does mean the absolute world to me. I love you guys. You are amazing um, But as always my name is Cubewack. I am signing out. I'll catch all of you guys next time Peace